Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here, and today I'm answering a question from a subscriber. Um, they're saying, please, can you, uh, this is Sully A, basically asking, uh, how do you alter somebody's vocals by just a semitone, i.e. minus one semitone or plus eight semitones? Um, so this is quite easy to do. Um, there is an inbuilt feature in GarageBand that allows you to alter the pitch by a semitone. And then I'll show you another method that you can change the pitch by even less than a semitone. So just a little bit sharper, a little bit flat if you want to tune your notes a little bit. And then at the end, I'll show you a really cool way using a free plugin to do really high quality changes in the pitch of your vocals. So there's three methods, really. The first method is really easy. I've got my vocal track right here. I'll play you a couple of seconds of it just so you can get a frame of reference. So you can see here that I've split that into a number of regions. Um, and this method just uh, can change the pitch of an individual note if we really want to. You just need to splice up the region by using the command T, which is split at playhead. So if I want to do that on this one, command T, or I can right click and select split at playhead. So you can splice up your regions and apply this to only one or the whole lot. You do need to open the editor so you can hit the E key, uh, or you can also click on the scissors icon on the top left hand corner. And we need to make sure we're not on track, that we're on region. And let me make sure I can see them. We select follow tempo and pitch down here under the transpose. And then this will enable us to transpose an individual region or a group of regions. Um, if I do that just one semitone, it'll sound really out of key. Let's see if it's done that. So you can hear that it's quite low quality pitch conversion there. Um, the stock standard plugin is not very high quality. If I do that an octave, so up 12 semitones there, we'll have a full octave jump. So that's kind of cool. Um, you can get that effect pitched up or pitched down um, an octave. And I'm just going to return that back to normal. Now, another way we can do, do this is a global uh, sort of pitch change for the entire track. And we need to open the smart controls for this, which is this icon right here. Or you can use the B key on your keyboard. And then not on EQ, we want controls. This enables us to have a look at all the plugins that are on this particular track. So you can see I've got a bunch of plugins there. If you can't see them, it's probably folded up. You need to click the little downward facing arrow or the arrow until it's facing down. Um, so this is a audio unit plugin that we're going to use. So to be able to use this, you need to go up to the garage band and preferences. You need to make sure under the audio slash MIDI tab that you have clicked in enable audio units. And you see mine is selected there. Enable the use of audio unit plugins in your garage band projects because the Apple Mac has um, a bunch of audio unit plugins that you can use. And to throw one of those on to the track here, I'm going to hover down the very bottom of this little section till you see a little line appear and then click. And then this will enable you to scroll through all of the different plugins that you have available on this computer that are audio units. Um, see these ones here are all the GarageBand ones down the bottom, uh, any third party plugins. So I want to go to this list that says Apple and I want to select the uh, AU, uh, I think there's one called AU Pitch, but this the, this is the one I want, AU New Pitch. And then this will enable me to um, bring the track up by sense. 
and a cent, there's a hundred cents per semitone. So if I double click here and type in 100, that's plus one semitone. Let's listen to that. I have to click out of it to, to enable it. So if I go up 12 semitones, that will be 1200 cents. We'll get um, a bit more of a high quality effect on that pitch. So I can even pop this all the way up to the maximum, which is two octaves. And you can go the other direction as well, down low. So that's two semitones down. That's probably too low to even here. Let's try minus 1200, an octave down. So this is, will um, change the pitch and to get that back to normal, you just type in zero there um, of the entire track. So if there's just one particular note that you have got a problem with, um, the way that you can fix that, if you just want to, if it's a bit flat or something, you can right click on your track and select new track with duplicate settings. And then you can just grab whichever is the problem note pop it down on that track and then you can change the pitch. You can just bring this down. If it's just a little bit flat and you just need to bring it up a little bit, maybe 30 cents. So remember that's 30% of the way between where it was and the first semitone. So you can hear now that that's a little bit um, sharp now because my original one was auto-tuned, but that's how you can do it with that method. The final method requires you to download a plugin. I'm just going to get rid of that new pitch there. Um, and it's a plugin that I already used in this session. Uh, it's a auto-tune, a free auto-tune plugin, and it's really cool. It's really high quality. It's called Growlion 2, and I do have a complete separate tutorial regarding this plugin and I review this plugin, I will leave that link in the description to that video. Um, but this, this is an auto-tune plugin and it's what's giving me this nice auto-tuned sound uh, on this vocal. But there's also a, a separate little feature within this auto-tune plugin that enables me to pitch shift and I get a real high quality uh, pitch shift with this much higher quality than the previous two versions. Let's have a quick listen to this one You can hear that's way better quality and We can go down um, a full octave with that one Or we can this one allows us to um, the, the the large number there is semitones so nine Ste ST stands for steps, so nine steps, and that's the same as nine semitones. So if I want to go down five semitones, um, but it also gives you the fine tuning there, the sense like we had in the previous uh, one there. So that's down five semitones. We can go up. So that's the Grallion 2. That's a really handy feature. And that's the highest quality uh, pitch correction that I know of that you can get for free uh, in GarageBand. You've got the option within GarageBand, which is quite low quality. You've got the, the Apple new pitch plugin, which is which is pre-installed on all Apple operating systems. You just have to enable audio units and then you can download this one and I'll leave the download link to this in the description. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Thank you for the request. If anyone has any other requests for some videos, just leave a comment. And I am very busy, but I do try and uh, do as many requests as I can. If you're not a subscriber already, I'd love to have you on board and thank you for supporting the channel. I will see you in the next video.